Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Thank you for coming back if you are already subscribed and if you would like to not miss any of my haul videos and DIYs and how to's and everything else that I do, uh, please click on that subscribe button that is I think at the bottom there uh, or there <laughs> and uh, join the fun and that way you'll get alerted as to whenever I post something new. So I stopped at Dollarama. I went to Dollar Tree first and I, I did get quite a lot of stuff there, but I stopped at Dollarama because I wanted to get more of these clear bins, which I did. I actually bought four of these. One of them right now is being used as a temporary tripod for my, uh, my iPad here. So I got four of these with uh, the lids, of course, and the and these were the last four at that Dollarama. And I've been to other Dollaramas and I didn't have any of the clear ones left. So I thought I should grab uh, the four that I saw at this one Dollarama. Something I don't see very often at uh, Dollarama is fresh bread. But they had, they had gotten some. And this is a raisin cinnamon at Dollarama. This large raisin cinnamon bread I'm trying to look for the size how much there is in here it's 675 grams so that's basically like the regular uh, size loaf of bread this is 250 so um, not the best deal I would say um, especially I can go to the but at the grocery store I would pay more for a smaller loaf so for raisin bread it's a good deal for regular bread mm, not so much and anyway I found this I'm al almost didn't buy it but and I thought maybe you guys would like to see what this is uh, this is new a Dollarama it is a makeup cinch tote essentially it is just uh, a tote that lies flat and when you you could use this when you travel or for anything so basically it's just like a round fabric that's uh, lined with a drawstring around the top of it so you can put your stuff on it and they say it's uh, Work from, goes from a workspace to a tote. And that's exactly what the intention is. So it just means that once you're you're done with your your makeup, it could be other things too. It could kids' toys, it could be uh, other projects. I used to have a big version of this for my kids when they were little. So if we went somewhere, they would have a play mat and they would have their toys inside. You know, and we would get to the place we were going, dump the toys, uh, open the mat, they would have a mat to play on, and they would play with their toys, and then when it, we were ready to go, I would just take the whole thing with the toys and pull on. Of course, the ones for the kids was way bigger, but it's the same principle. So this is the size of it. It's not huge, but it'll do if you just want to bring a few supplies with you. And these are two dollars at Dollarama. So, got that. I bought the Pyramid Bars. Um, these are so yummy. I was pleasantly surprised. These are a dollar fifty for a hundred and sixty grams. So you get five bars in these. I think I've seen these being sold individually, also, um, like chocolate bars. But uh, they're they're chocolate covered hazelnut cream wafer. So they're not really a chocolate bar. They're more like a chocolate cookie. Anyway, I don't care, whatever they are, they're really good. Uh, was in need of garbage bags for the kitchen. So I got the vanilla scented ones. They're 25 on a roll. And these are a dollar, dollar 25. I also got some green ones uh, that are jasmine scented oh, I just bought them for the color 
white means garbage, green means recycling in my house, so that's why I got these. Also, we are we are emptying lots of closets and going through the house and cleaning lots of things. So a lot of things are going to donation and we are putting everything in uh, garbage bags because it's just really easy to throw in the car, well, to put in the car and then bring to the donation center. And there are 10 30-gallon hefty bags in here. They come with a twist die and these are $2. I decided to get these and instead of the other ones that Dollarama has, which are the, I think they're called Great Value, because I bought a box of those not too long ago and I was using them for the same purpose as I'm telling you about um, emptying closets for donations and um, they're not sturdy bags. They tear very easily. So I'm hoping that this, because this is a, a brand, this is the Hefty brand, hopefully these will be stronger. I bought these two, uh, they are curtain tie backs. These will be for my bedroom. If the project idea I have in mind doesn't work with these, I will probably keep these for actually uh, tying back curtains if I install new curtains in our bedroom. So I would have liked to buy four, but they only had two left. And the white ones with the like crystal at the end, and these these are a dollar fifty each. That's what they look like. I saw the terrific stainless steel cleaner and polish, and uh, we don't have this in in our cupboards. It is two fifty, and I thought, oh, I should I should try this uh, on the barbecue and any stainless steel. Uh, appliances that we have um, we have uh, yeah we have a few appliances like small appliances that have that are stainless steel so I'll try this out see if it really does do a good job of cleaning and polishing maybe somebody else has tried it and they can tell me like if you've tried this product and it was good or not um, please let me know I bought the last four packages of the simplicity trim here uh, with the bling bling the there's one yard on here for 91.4 centimeters they're a dollar these one of the few items left a dollarama for a dollar i bought this little package of polysporin uh, blister band-aids these work really great um there are only five in here so it, it's three dollars it's seems pricey for this uh, but i just can't find them anywhere else and these are really really helpful in the summertime oh my husband and my boys were having this discussion the other day about uh gum tasting like soap and i was explaining to them that yeah that does exist like i remember this from my childhood this was this i think this is just a canadian thing i'm not sure but do you, do you remember this gum um, it, it, I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of good and it's bad at the same time. It's a weird thing. So I got two of these just for my boys so they can try it. And my whore, my poor husband didn't know what I was talking about. So I had a deprived childhood, I guess. <laughs> um, so the other thing I picked up was relish. I don't like to buy a lot of food items, but this is relish and we were out of relish. So and this is only a dollar fifty, a dollar rama. So I got it. My kitchen timer, my battery operated kitchen timer is no longer working. So and it I don't think it was a Betty Crocker. Yes, it was a Betty Crocker, but I've had it for a few years. So well, I just decided instead of replacing the battery, which would probably be cheaper, but would take me more time plus I didn't know what battery I needed I spent three dollars on a brand new Betty Crocker timer but I know they last a long time so good these are new to me uh, new at my dollar rim at the dollar rim I was at they are these uh, jars it says on here quality glassware established 1876 
I picked these two because they have the gasket seal they're built in and they have these little labels kind of like chalk labels I'm gonna see if I can actually write with chalk on them and I got a couple of these I would have bought a third one but all the jars most of the jars except the two that I picked up um, the labels were all crooked so I only got two and I'm hoping to find a third one somewhere else and my intention is to use these to make our candy bar uh, to make like we have a we will be getting a new console table right now we have a, a table behind our couch and that's where we keep uh, munchies like we keep M&Ms and nuts and you know gum and stuff and it was just I wanted to um, use these because I thought it would look cute. Somebody in the U.S. haul this Bodycology, this one, in at the Dollar Tree. And I thought, oh, I, I have to put that on my list. Funny thing is, I found it at Dollarama. It does have a wonderful scent. I'm pretty sure, I, I, I believe what she was saying, that this is a name brand. And it is actually quite expensive in the stores. In the US, some people have been able to find this at their Dollar Tree for a dollar. Uh, I did not see it at Dollar Tree that I went to, but at Dollarama, you can get this for $3. So I think it might still be a good buy. It is, it, and I also got this one. This one is Petal Away, Petal, you know, play on words. And this one is truly yours. So, um, looks like it's peonies, does it say? Yeah. And they just smell really pretty. So, I picked up a, two of these packages, I should say, of the mesh organizers. I use a lot of these. Usually, I, I've never found, seen the white ones before. This is new, so I was quite excited to find white ones. I like to use white and clear organizing things in my house. I have a set of pink. I have a couple sets of pink ones that I use also in my craft room and for traveling. But I wanted some, when I saw the white ones, I said, oh, this will be great for organizing some office supplies. I found the bigger baskets. I had hauled uh, similar to this, these baskets at Dollar Tree, but they're smaller. And so I saw these ones at Dollarama and I think these will be a better size to put on that shelf in my closet. And these are $2 a piece. And I got three. Oh, I had to buy a new tape measure. Uh, these are $2.50. Oh yeah, get this. These are $2.50 for 7.5 meters or 25 feet. And they had other ones that were $4 for um, five meters. So I thought, well, that's a little strange. But anyway, I got the one that you get more out of for uh, less money. And this is the Duramax Pro. So um, the reason I, I needed a measuring tape is because this morning I uh, broke my measuring tape. I actually pulled, I was trying to measure something and I kept tugging because I needed more measuring tape. I, and I was at the end and I just pulled the thing out completely of the, of the, the little receptacle here. So um, I figured maybe it was time to buy myself a new measuring tape. So I did. I had not seen this before. This is Elmer's Clear Repositionable Glue Sticks. Uh, I think this is a really bit annoying at Dollarama that they don't put the price on things anymore. Uh, it's and it's hard to, you, to tell if something's a dollar or more, especially if they don't have the price on the shelf or on the hanging thingy, then they don't put the price on here. So it's a gamble when you get to the cash. Anyway, so these are $2.50 and you get six of these repositionable glue sticks. 
I use repositionable glue with stamps uh, that I want to adhere temporarily to acrylic blocks. Sometimes some acrylic stamps just don't adhere very well, so I, I like to adhere them temporarily. I use this in crafting too. Uh, just know that because it, it just because it says repositionable doesn't mean that it won't become permanent eventually. It might or it could. Positionable glue means that it gives you time to work with it, but it will eventually like stick. So just so you know that. It's not permanently repositionable. I got some more charge and sync cables. This one I hope will be the right one to use on my MacBook. Uh, it has a funny, it has a funny plug and a funny pin, so I hope to use that. And for our other Apple devices, I got this one, which is actually it's a 10 foot cable. So this one, the 10 foot one is four dollars and the three foot is two dollars so this is to go in my travel bag and this one is for at home so that's why one's black and one's white i also got another white 10 foot cable for my charging station that i have in the kitchen i had one of these and it stopped working it was working fine for months and today it just died on me I don't know why so I just bought another one and uh, these are four dollars so it's much cheaper to buy these at the dollar dollarama they do work most of the time and uh, they're much less expensive than the uh, ones you would get at Apple at the sorry, at Staples and such I saw this package of signage erasers you get 12 in here. This was the this was the only package the store had, and these were $1.25 for all 12, so that's it's pretty good. And um, my idea was that if my boys were still little and they still played with their little cars and made like you know little roads and the Hot Wheels tracks and all that, they would have loved this, and we could have made lots of little signs for their roads. You know, maybe stick this on a, like a toothpick, or and you know, put it on some clay or a styro half a styrofoam ball to make like a little stand. Uh, these would have so, so that's what I thought the idea uh, could be is that you can make these into little road signs for your your kids' toys. And they're also great for pocket letters, for stocking stuffers, they're just, you know, fun. So, and it's hard to find things that are more like road sign-ish or manly too. And then I had to pick up Olaf, yes, because <laughs> I got the idea from someone that I was making fun of. Uh, Crafty Share Cupcake, this is you I'm talking about because she said she was getting an Olaf snowman to put in the fairy garden for Christmas or the winter state time. And I just thought that was so funny. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do the same thing. Except I still don't have a fairy garden. I have to make it. And that is that for a Dollarama haul. It wasn't huge, but it wasn't cheap either. Um, yeah, I spent over a hundred bucks on all of this, but there were a lot of items that were uh, like three and four dollars. So thank you so much for uh, supporting my channel. Thank you so much for watching, for stopping by. Please like, leave comments. I reply to all of them and share. And I hope that you are enjoying summer. Take care of yourself and I will catch you after the next haul. Bye.